Are you looking for a quicker way to navigate around your PC? Maybe you're struggling with productivity and efficiency and looking to get a bit more time back in the day. Well, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you 10 Windows 10 shortcuts that you should be using that will not only help your productivity and efficiency, but by using these shortcuts, they'll also be less distracting. So you get more time on the tasks that matter during the day. If you're new here today, consider subscribing to our channel for videos similar to this one, which we post regularly. Okay, so let's jump into the detail now. I've seen it many times where people have got multiple windows open on their PC, but they want to get back to the desktop. So what they do is they minimize each window. And obviously as a one-off, that's fine, but it's still not the most productive way. But if you've got multiple windows open and you're doing that many times a day, it can be really inefficient. So there is a much quicker way, and that is to press the Windows and D button for displaying the desktop. And there you go, you can go back to the desktop. And when you want the windows back open like that you just press the windows d button again and it brings the windows back accordingly another great little tip on the back of this if you don't want to press windows d and then windows d again to get all the windows back you can have a really quick peek of your desktop and that just involves pressing the windows button holding it down with the comma and then releasing again when you want it back on screen If you've got a lot of apps or windows open on your PC, it can be quite time consuming, particularly if you want to navigate your way around. So for example, if you use your mouse, you can move the windows out of the way and try to find them that way, but that's far from ideal. And obviously the more windows you have open, the more complex it becomes. So there is a much quicker way of navigating your way around and that is to press the windows alt and tab key. And it brings up another window like this and it shows you the relevant apps or programs that are open and then holding the windows alt button down just tap across accordingly to select the relevant window and release and then just repeat accordingly this next particular shortcut which i use regularly is really useful and again if you've got quite a few windows open it can really help but more especially it doesn't have to be necessarily apps or programs which are open already it can be something which isn't open and basically it relates to the programs or apps which are on your taskbar and obviously you can rearrange the order accordingly the ordering system runs from left to right so number one would be if you wanted to open microsoft edge for example and google chrome would be number five for example so it's just a case of pressing windows and the five key and that's really good because it enables you to be more focused on your work with minimal distraction when it comes to capturing your screen you really want something which is as simple as possible you want something which where you can actually focus your concentration and energy into what's on the screen for example on this powerpoint presentation with what i'd used to do would be to actually do a screen snipping tool so you'd actually capture the screen and then you decide where to save it for example and then you'd have to retrieve it later and obviously if you're doing lots of screen captures this is really taxing on your energy so there is a much simpler way and that is to use the windows print screen button um literally press windows and print screen together the screen goes dim and then what you can do is if you go back into the pictures folder and screenshots obviously this may vary according to computer but this is normally the rule just literally click into the file and then go it back into it what i would advise is basically just doing a test before you do it for real now this next particular window shortcut is really useful if you access settings regularly um, something that i do and i used to go and do it the long windy way so i type setting is in to the taskbar and obviously in isolation it's fine but if you do it repeatedly it can be quite quite time consuming so there is a much easier way of going into settings which is obviously a lot less distracting as well and basically that is to click windows and i and basically it takes you into the settings and then just tab across and use the up and down arrows on your keyboard accordingly to go to where you require and it's as simple as that Windows 10 is capable of running multiple virtual desktops and it's something that I find really useful. So it enables me, for example, to separate apps or specific programs that maybe I'm using or more often than not, I use it to separate my work from my, if you like, my personal stuff. So I've got what my work going on on one desktop and then on the other one, I've got, for example, maybe streaming a bit of music in the background. I'm using email or social media, for example. So it enables you to separate the two so they don't get mixed up, which I find really useful. But obviously you can use it however you wish to. So for example, this is the particular 
work desktop, let's say I wanted to create a new virtual desktop for my personal use in this case, it's literally a case of pressing Control, Windows and D and there you go, you see the new desktop created and basically this, this screen swiped across so you saw that there. So let's for example go on to Google Chrome and open Spotify. So if we go Windows key and number 5 I've mentioned that to you earlier, how it works in order to open specific apps from the taskbar. And if we type in Spotify there and do whatever you need to do, okay? You can actually view your desktops by pressing the Windows button and the Tab key, and you can see them there accordingly. And you can use a combination of the Tab key and the left and right arrows to select the relevant desktop and then press Enter when you want to go there, okay? And a really useful tip when you're actually if you want to switch between the desktop stop you have to go into the windows and the tab key is to press control windows and left and right and then you can access the relevant desktops accordingly okay so when you finish doing everything you need to maybe at the end of the day you can close the virtual desktop and it's literally a case of pressing control windows and f4 one thing you may notice is that any windows which are open on the other desktop or for example which i've just closed chrome with spotify it will then put it potentially onto your this sort of the, the the like in our case the work desktop so it's just a case of then just clicking that window to shut it down and that's really useful this windows keyboard shortcut is really useful if you're into multitasking on one screen basically it enables you to split your screen using the windows snap assist feature where you can snap windows basically into half the screen so two halves or into quarters which I use the quarters fairly regularly so there's no more time required messing around trying to position all your windows into place with the mouse which can be really time consuming so I love this little feature and I use the snap assist feature using the keyboard shortcuts all the time if you want to use your mouse you can do I produced a full length video tutorial on this links are appearing on the top right hand side of the screen now but back to the keyboard shortcuts for splitting your screen and snapping the windows into place. So what you need to do basically is firstly select the apps or programs that you require. So we're going to use the keyboard shortcuts again. So if we alt tab and the first one we're going to select is Google Chrome. OK, so the key thing on this to make sure so it works correctly is to make sure the window isn't maximized. So if we reduce that and then we're going to um, select Word. So let's just select that and let's use paint.net and the last one we're going to use is the microsoft store okay so what you need to do to snap them into place is to basically hold the windows key down and do left or right first so we're doing quarters remember so we did windows key and left and then down okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to select word select that one windows key left and up and then what we're going to do is select Google if we do that and again Windows key if we do Windows right and up and then lastly we're going to select the one that we want so we're going to go down to paint.net which is selected so if we just press enter and all your windows are snapped into place no more messing around trying to get them all into a nice position. If you regularly access and use File Explorer, you know it can be a bit time consuming finding your way around or doing certain tasks, obviously depending on what you're doing. I used to use the mouse a lot and obviously trying to do things like renaming a folder, creating a new folder for example, I used the mouse and it was quite time consuming. And these Windows shortcuts which I've discovered, I've been using them for a while now and they've really sped things up for me. So it's given me a bit more time back in my day so I'm putting effort into doing things that matter. Let's go ahead and demonstrate those now. So in firstly, to create a new folder, if we press the Windows key, hold that down and press E, it brings up File Explorer. And if we tab across to where it says this PC till it turns a different color. And then if we go down to say pictures and hit enter, as you can see here, all the files are list, all the folders are listed. So in order to create a folder, what I used to do was to use the mouse and go to new folder or go to new folder there, which is probably mostly what I used to do and obviously a bit time consuming. So a way to create a new folder is literally press Control, Shift and N and just call it a, give it a name, let's call it old files and press enter. 
So if you want to rename a folder, I used to use the mouse and I used to either go up to the top here or I used to right click and rename or I even used to double click on it there and actually rename it that way. But there is a much quicker way and that basically is just to hit F2. So let's call that new files two. press enter. OK, so the other file explorer shortcut that I found really useful recently is in terms of deleting a folder. I know it sounds quite basic, but when I used to delete folders, sometimes I go back to the recycle bin in a couple of months time after that and think, what on earth is this? Is it OK to delete? Because it looked like it was good material and I was never too sure I was a bit afraid to delete it and obviously working through it to a later date as well was even more time consuming if you particularly if you've got a long list of files so what I do now is I make sure I permanently delete it if I'm happy with that so in order to permanently delete it if you literally press shift and select the relevant folder obviously shift and delete and it says do you want to permanently delete yes that's great they've gone I've created some other PC or computer related videos for you you can click on the links appearing on screen now. But many thanks for watching our video today. We'll see you on the next video.